This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch. Edward Crispin here at the Green Living Show in Toronto, Ontario, talking to Daniel, who's showing us a very cool new bike. Tell us a little bit about the Eneloop bike. Well, the Eneloop bike is a, a pedal assist bike from Sanyo, um, which means that it doesn't self-propel. So you okay. have to be pedaling in order for the electric motor in the front to be working. Right. On its own, if you're not using the electric motor, um, it's a normal three-speed bike in the style of a cruiser. Um, but if you, uh, there's a little toggle switch there on the handlebars. If you turn the motor on, depending on the setting you have, it'll give you a certain amount of pedal assist Right, ratio. so we're here at the Green Living Show. So I guess as we're bike commuting to work, the idea is we come up to a hill and rather than uh, just, you know, powering up the hill, maybe switching with your low gear and, and just really giving it and going up the hill, we can actually turn on pedal assist and it'll help kind of guide us up the hill. Absolutely. I mean, really, we're gearing this bike towards commuters and people right. or like older people who may have some uh, difficulty riding a normal bike okay. in a hilly area, for example. So you could have you have the option. You could ride it normally and then turn on the pedal assist when you need it, or you could leave the pedal assist on all the time. Um, the advantage in this green story is that it's an alternative uh, form of commuting as opposed to driving your car, right. especially in the warm seasons here. Um, and using the network of bike paths, you can ride to work, and using the pedal assist, you won't walk into your office needing a shower. So. Yes, that's very nice. Yeah. I, I actually bike to work every day, and I really should have a shower when I get there. <laughs> so what kind of range are we talking about? Like, how far can we go on a, on a charge? It really depends how you use it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's three modes to it. In a standard mode, it'll give you a one-to-one -one pedal assist ratio. Okay. In the power-up mode, it'll give you a one-to-two. So it will sense the exertion that you're putting in through the pedals, and it will double your effort. Okay. And in the automatic mode, it's actually similar to an automatic car and the using there's a torque sensor inside the uh, the gears and it will gauge how much uh, assistance it should give you right so kind of keep us going at a, at a at a standard kind of pace we'll get a nice even clip going yeah, exactly i mean as in terms of speed it actually the electric motor will cut off at 32 kilometers an hour um, and at that point, you still you can still go faster sure. if you want, but it's going to be up to your own legs at right. that point. So what kind of battery technology is, is actually powering this thing? It's a lithium-ion battery, okay. um, and that basically is uh, Sanyo's expertise, is mm. the electric motor and the rechargeable battery technology. Right. Um, so I'm, it's a part of the lineup of our other Eneloop products, including consumer batteries, rechargeable hand warmers, all these different things. Um, and they're... You know, it's something that Sanyo's really excelled in. Right. So now we had a bit of a chance to try this out. It was a pretty flat surface. Uh, incidentally, you really need to get a new helmet out there because it's that one is just terrible. Is it? it? like okay. a complete moron. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's very nice to uh, dry, ride. And one interesting yeah. thing is, as we brake, we actually um, we're actually regenerating the battery at that point. Yes, it's very similar to a hybrid car in that right. regard because when you're coasting, say you're pedaling along using the uh, the, the pedal assist, and you stop pedaling the electric motor will cut out, it right. will not self-propel, but it will help to uh, regenerate the battery through the electric motor. Same when you're braking. Um, and that's where we get actually the name Eneloop because it's the energy loop, the in, energy the, loop. in the app. Now, when we actually plug this thing in at home and charge up the battery that way, about how long is that going to take? Um, from if the battery's dead, it'll take about three hours to charge it okay. back up. Yeah. And then, and then it, you said it depends, but kind of what, what, what kind the, of area of range are we looking at? If, for example, you, we have a standardized test condition okay. with variable hills in our literature, you can find more detail on that. But just to give you an idea, if you were riding it with the one-to-one -one pedal assist, so it's a bit more, it's a bit more. Uh, a way of riding that's going to conserve the battery, sure. then you could ride for approximately 40 miles straight out, just nice. you know, on flat ground. Okay. But d depending on how you, use it, if you ride it as, if you really want to maximize the battery life, you can ride it as a normal bike, and then when you feel tired or when you see a hill, you kick it's, in the battery, yeah, yeah. and then that's it'll beautiful. Because yeah. otherwise, if when you're just pedaling yourself, it's like I see a hill. Oh, I see yeah, here we go. Yeah. So now, where are we sending people? Uh, I'm assuming you have a website. We can go for more information. Yeah, definitely. This uh, ca.sanyo.com. As well, um, we have a retailer here in Toronto. It's actually in Markham. It's a new store called New World uh, Wheels. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, can, you can check it out there as well. Okay, and we'll put links to all that stuff in the show notes on butterscotch.com. Daniel, thank you very much. You're very welcome. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch.